Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mount Studio. And in this second part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the thumb up or the thumb down button. And then we're also going to be changing the color based on where the card is being dragged. If it's being dragged to the right, we'll change it green. If it's being dragged to the left, we're going to change it red. And we're also going to fade in the card. So you won't be able to see the thumb button when the card is right in the center, but as you start to drag it to the edge, the thumb button will start to show up more and more and more. So we'll fade it in as you start to drag it to the extreme edges of the right or the left. All right, enjoy this tutorial. Okay, now remember when I showed you in the beginning, as I moved it to the right or to the left, a thumbs up or thumbs down would show. So let's do that part next. First I have to go into my storyboard. Oh, let me, let me just show you something real quick. Okay, so I have a thumbs down and a thumbs up image right here that I already added to my Xcode assets. And there's something else I want to show you too. For both of these, I changed the render as template image. Normally it's it's default. So I changed it to template image. And what that allowed me to do is change the color of that image. So, you know, right now it's black, but when I drag that card to the right, I'm going to turn it green. And when I drag it to the left, I'm going to change the image to the thumbs down and change the color to red. So the template image just basically allows us to set all the color information to the tint color and it'll ignore all the transparent information. So we want to add the, uh, the thumbs up or thumbs down. And what I'm going to do is I just click on the media library here and I grab one of the images and I'm just going to stick it on eh, right about there is good. And that just created a UI image for me on the, on the screen. Like if we look at this, you see it's a UI image view. And the auto resizing, that looks good because it's, it's set inside of this uh, UI view. You can see it's inside the card. So that's good. It'll stay in this position no matter how the, what size this card is. So that's fine. And I'm not going to change anything else here, but I do need to create an outlet for it because I need to be able to change this to a thumbs up or thumbs down and change the color as well. Okay, so I'm just going to grab that, drag it over here. We'll call it thumb image view. There we go. Okay, good. All right, so one of the things I need to know is how, do, how can I tell if I'm dragging the card to the right or to the left? Well, here's basically what I'm going to do. I know the center of the, the parent view, which is this view right here. And I know what the center is because there's a property for it. And basically what I'm going to do is I want to divide the screen in half using the, the center X coordinate. So I know where the center is. Now, I also have another piece of information that I know is I also know where the center of the card is while I'm dragging it. And I can compare the X property on this center with the views center and see if it's greater than that or less than that. And that'll tell me if it's if I'm dragging it to the right or to the left. So let's add that. First, I'm going to create a property. Uh, let's add it up here with the rest of my properties. And I'll call it the the X, you know, the X coordinate is the, the horizontal one that goes from right to left. X from center. And it equals, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference the card. I'm going to look at its X property. And I'm going to subtract it from the views. X property. So imagine that this view is only 100 wide. And so that puts the center X at 50. Now, if I drag this card over to the right, its X property will be like 75. Say I drag it from here over to about here. So it's 75. So 75 minus 50 will give me 25. And so that tells me I am 25 from the center. And likewise, if I drag it over here to the 25 position, then I will know that if it's 25 minus 50, it'll be negative 25. So I'll know it's to the left. So basically that tells me, you know, as I drag it over to this side, it'll be a negative number. And as I drag it over to the right, it'll be a positive number. So I can use that to tell if it's on the right or left of the center. Okay, and then once I have that information, I can say 
if x from center is greater than 0, then what does that tell us? That's right, it means it's being dragged to the right. Else. Okay, so if it's being dragged to the right, we actually want the thumbs up, right? So we'll say thumb image view dot image. Here, let's, let's make some more room for us here. equals thumb up and this will be thumb down that right there now both images are black right now so we want to change those colors as well and remember they're both using the the render is the render as is template so we could just set the tint color to change the color of the image and here, we'll just change it to green, UI color green. And here, we'll change it to red. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, we're gonna to have to get rid of this because we don't want the, the image to show until we start dragging it. So that looks good, and now if we go to the right, it changes to a thumb down thumb up, thumb down. All right, that's perfect. And you can see right when it hits the center, right about there is when it changes it. All right, perfect. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to change this alpha to zero so it doesn't show. And instead, as I start to get closer to the edge, I want that alpha to increase. So the image alpha will be zero, and then it'll start to increase 25%, 50%, 75%, and then 100%. And of course, 100% alpha is, is just the number one. And so the alpha will be 0 here, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, and just 1. So how are we going to do that? Well, first, we know we need to change the alpha image to 0. So let's just do that. Let's go in here. And we'll change that to 0. OK, that hides the image. Oops, wrong. OK. Now you notice in this tutorial, I'm going to be using a lot of math. So here is where the math starts. Pretty much what we want is, remember that x from center can be a positive or a negative number, right? So I'm going to use this value to change the alpha property. So imagine this. If we, if we start from the center, then, you know, let's go with that same example that I gave before. You have a UI view and it's 100 wide, and I'm just using you know round numbers just so it's easier to calculate in your head. Okay, it's 100 wide, and we, so we know this, that center line is at 50. Well, if I drag it from the center, and I go all the way to the right edge, this x from center will be 50, because it traveled 50 points from the center to the edge. Same with if I go left. It'll start from the center, it'll go left all the way, and it'll be 50. Well, so how can we use those two numbers? Because we want both edges to use a number one for the alpha. So I'm going to start with the center. I'm going to use the center, the view's center, which will always be at 50. That center line will always be at 50. And I know that if I go out to the edge and it's also 50, well, 50 divided by 50 will always equal one. And same with, you know, if I just go halfway each way. So let me just show you like what it looks like here so I'm going to divide using the views center X and in our example that I was giving you we know this will always be at 50 and the dragging view the X from center if we if we're using a hundred wide it can never be greater than 50 from the center right because once you get to the the edge it'll you've only traveled 50 points so if I use X from center here then when I'm at the very edge it'll be just a 1 but this can be a positive or a negative so what we'll have to do is change it to a positive all the time and there's a function here that I can use called absolute value which will change this value to a positive number no matter what it is 
So let's see how that works. And well, let, let me just give you an example here. Okay, so this this will be 50. And if I drag it 25 from the center, 25 divided by 50 will give us 0 0.50. So the alpha will just be 0 0.50, so it'll be half opaque. And then as you drag it further to the edge, this number will increase more and more until you finally hit 1, which will be right at the edge. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, see how it gets more and more opaque? And then it finally, when you get to the edge, it'll be 100. And same here. You see, now you can't even see through it at all. Okay, that's exactly what we want, just like that. And, wow, look at this. Notice how this image will stay here. Well, we have a function that resets this UI image view back to the center. So let's use that to change the alpha back to zero. Okay, good. So that, that should handle that. There we go. Perfect. All right, looking good. Now the next thing we want to do is when, when I drag it over here, when I get past a certain margin, I want to be able to let go of it and then have it like continue all the way off the screen. Same with over here, when I get past a certain margin, I want it to go all the way off the screen. So I'm just picking for this tutorial, I'm picking 75. So when it gets 75 points from the left or the right margin, I want it to continue the animating off the screen, right or left. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the second part of this series. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, consider sharing it, and consider subscribing so you'll get notified when the other parts of the tutorial come out. Thank you very much.